Hey, it's Dr. Darren Schmidt. I have a few things I want to go over with you. And the first one is a few successes that have occurred in the last week. And I want to share with you a person that called me up. We talked for the first time last week, and this is what happened. On March 24th, she had a very severe dry cough and uh, lung pain. So she went to the hospital. They tested her, and they sent her home. The next day, she's going back to the hospital, this time in an ambulance. And they said, oh, you don't have COVID, but you have influenza A. So they sent her home with an antibiotic and a CPAP to get some oxygen. And she said the antibiotic helped her with her pneumonia aspect of her lungs. And the CPAP helped get the oxygen in. But she went online. She started researching what she could do. She found my videos on YouTube. And she quit eating sugar. And she was having some doughy stuff for lunch every day for many, many years. She quit that. She went on Amazon, she bought St. John's Wort and a bunch of herbs and supplements. And that includes vitamin C, D, B, an enzyme, licorice, garlic, elderberry, which is Sambucus, and also shown to kill this family of viruses called coronavirus, zinc, and iodine. Nine days later, she's on the phone with me, and she's 70% better. And she says, Dr. Schmidt, the St. John's Wort helped the most. It saved my life. Thank you for saving my life. So that's a good success story for an envelope virus. It was not COVID. Now, I know another holistic doctor that had a patient that had the same serious uh, symptoms of COVID, uh, dry cough, lung congestion. What this patient did was vitamin C in the form of a liposome, which means Here's the vitamin C, and then the liposome is fat. It wraps the vitamin C up with fat. That way it goes straight into your cells. It kind of bypasses digestion. So taking a gram of liposomal vitamin C is like taking four to five grams of regular vitamin C. So she's doing one gram uh, 10 times a day. So 10 grams, which is basically like 40 grams, or maybe up to 50 grams of vitamin C. Every time she took it, she felt the relief in her lungs. And so she got over the virus and was and is done with it. Now, there's a lot of holistic medical doctors that are using IV vitamin C or liposomal vitamin C powder. And there's research showing how it's really good for viral lung problems over the course of many years. And uh, so there's Dr. Brownstein, there's Dr. Shiva, and there's uh, a few others that I saw on social media. And they're uh, interviewing patients and they're showing successes. So we can't just dismiss um, vitamin C. There's that news anchor, Chris Cuomo. He had it. He lost 13 pounds, and he was tested positive for COVID. His wife took him to her holistic doctor. She was cured of Lyme disease last summer by this guy. And so Chris went on some various natural things and got rid of his COVID symptoms, and it helped him out. So in the last few weeks, I found like at least 20, maybe 25 nutrients and herbs that help get rid of the family of viruses called coronavirus. And so next year, we might have another pandemic of a coronavirus. And so we should know what we're doing next year and the year after. That way, we don't have to shut down the economy. Everybody just takes the right herbs and nutrients to strengthen their, their immune system and to get over the bug. Now, these herbs and nutrients kill the bug they kill the virus and so what does it take to do that well when i want to kill an organism i want the greatest amount of chemicals working together to kill the organism i want to share with you why medicine is stuck and i googled it how to make a drug and there's nine steps and there's a whole process and there's applications with the fda and there's preclinical trials and his clinical trials. But the first step is you choose a molecule to target in the body that's related to the disease process. And then you choose a molecule to block that or to stop the other molecule. So it's like you have a person shooting a bullet and you're going to try to shoot and, and stop that bullet in midair. Compare that with an herb or a collection of herbs that have all these thousands of chemicals that work synergistically together to uh, kill a virus, for example. And I want to share with you, for example, this is a product that we carry called IS Boost. And it has, oh, maybe 10 or 12 uh, herbs in it. 
and it wipes out a lot of different organisms. Here's another one called Botanifuge. And this has two, four, six, about eight product, um, eight herbs in there. And this wipes out a wide variety of organisms too. I've been using this since probably 1998. And uh, I've used it to wipe out fungus or parasites or bacteria, helping the immune system get rid of these organisms. So let me give you an analogy. So here's a watch, and this watch has many moving parts. And you can see there's gears in there, and there's dials, and there's a spring. So if I were to take one part out of here and show it to you and say, this is the part that keeps track of time, you would say, no, that's ridiculous. You need all the parts. The watch is made out of multiple factors. They all work together to tell time. Well, compare that with a drug. So a drug is one part out of many, many parts out of a plant, for example, and you're working just with that one thing. Since 1938, there's only been 1,453 medications approved by the FDA through 2013. So in all those years, only just only 1,453 drugs have been approved. And the website I got this from said that they're, according to their calculations, there's probably been 7.3 million attempts to make a drug. The drug has to be safe. It has to be effective to a certain degree. And it's like you're working with one little piece out of this watch as opposed to all the herbal combinations that are in one single plant. The next thing I want to go over is the relationship between viruses and parasites. So there's two parts of the immune system. One is called Th1. Th stands for T cells. H stands for helper. So T helper cells one and then th2 t helper cells two so th1 is more for infections like right now like a virus or bacteria and there's some inflammation and the immune system is working th2 is not like that th2 is more uh, for parasites and the creation of antibodies now they can work both together at a high rate or they can both be more relaxed or one could be higher and squashing the other one so this is what happens with parasites. Parasites will trigger the immune system, the Th2 part of the immune system, and raise up Th2, and then at the same time, the Th1 goes down. So now your body's fighting parasites all the time, and it has a harder time with viruses and bacteria. So that's why people can have a chronic viral issue, or maybe even acute viral issue, because their immune system is always attacking a parasite. So parasites really do a good job of hiding. They don't necessarily create the fever or the inflammation like a virus does or a bacteria does. So the point is to reduce the parasites out of your body, and the majority of people have them. So you bring down the Th2 part of the immune system, and the Th1 can come up, and then it can go after the viruses and bacteria. That's the relationship between how you can have a parasite, and it hinders your ability to get rid of a virus. Now, what causes a parasite to hang out in the body and never go away? Well, it could be toxicity, and it could be lack of energy in your cells. So a toxicity issue caused by the inability to detoxify causes an environment where parasites live, which causes an environment where viruses live. So you have to start at the beginning and increase energy production, which there are supplements for uh, from various companies, and then you want to start detoxifying also. So you got to think of all this together. So having said that, I want to share with you a success story with one of my patients. And he's detoxing really hard right now. And he says to me, his armpits don't smell anymore. They used to smell really bad like onion or garlic. And now that's all gone. And his urine smells really bad. So the toxins are coming out in his urine. And it's so bad, he's got to turn the fan on in the bathroom just to get rid of the smell from just urine. And his breath smells like chemicals. So he's, we know he's detoxing chemicals because that's what it's, his breath smells like. So the fact that his armpits don't smell anymore means that his lymphatic system is getting cleaned out. And the detox organs of the body include the kidneys and the liver and the lungs. So that's the breath stinking. His, he's exhaling chemical toxins out of his lungs. So what are the potential causes of that stink? It could be drugs that you know, somebody does in college. It could be organisms in the body like parasites or maybe fungus in the intestines. Um, it could be medications from the past. 
It could be from any kind of a job exposure to chemicals. So having said that, I want to show you this. I've shown this before, but phase one is increasing energy and drainage. That's the very beginning of getting your health back. Phase two is getting parasites out of your intestines and larger cavities of the body. Phase three is getting rid of parasites throughout your whole body from head to toe, outside of the cells, but yet in the small spaces like uh, uh, sinus cavities or joints, like in the fingers or toes. Phase four is heavy metal, chemical, and radioactive elements detoxification. Phase five is getting rid of organisms in the cells and all the other organisms besides parasites. So that includes fungus, virus, bacteria, mycoplasma, and other organisms. So in that phase five, we'll use something like this. This is called IS Boost. IS stands for immune system. And it's got that plethora of herbs. Each one of those herbs has a plethora of chemical constituents that help your immune system get rid of a wide variety of organisms. Don't forget to download my free ebook. It also comes with a free introductory course. And if you want some individual help, call the office. I'll put the phone number at the very end of this video and also down below. Look down below at the video description box to learn more about how to interact with our office. And please give me a thumbs up and share this video and subscribe to my channel.